Hey guys, Antronic here again, and this is part two of my hip flexor video. If you haven't seen part one, you should probably go watch that so you'll learn the intricacies of how to stretch your hip flexors in a lunge. But now we're going to take that lunge and make it a much more powerful stretch, okay? Hopefully you're warmed up because you followed my previous video and that was a follow along video. And now you could join me. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into a lunge with the right foot forward. Just like last time, a regular lunge, squared hips, tucked tail. All right, reach the arms up, bend the front knee. And now I'm gonna bring my left hand down inside and kick my back foot up. And reach back with your right hand, okay? You're gonna get really close, and if you can't get close enough to grab something, use a towel or a belt or a shirt, anything to wrap or loop around your foot and grab that and pull that strap instead. If you're grabbing the foot, a lot of people grab the foot like this. But I want you to look back at your foot and grab the pinky side, the little toe side of your foot. This externally rotates your shoulder and helps open up your chest. Because what you're gonna do now is you're gonna kick the foot into the hand for five, four, three, two, one, and then use your biceps to pull it in. Okay? Now, in this position, don't grip your teeth, relax, and also try to bring the front of the left hip forward and down. You don't want to be like this. You want to try to go into extension with the foot bind. Take a deep breath, look back at your foot, and as you're looking back there, twist your foot away. I'm twisting the foot toward the camera and bring the front of the left hip forward and down, okay? Now you're going to release the foot with your hand, but keep the foot up for five, four, three, two, one, and then slowly lower it down. Great. Now we're going to do the other side. If you felt cramping in your hamstrings from keeping it up, that's just because they're weak in that contracted position, but they are getting stronger by you simply practicing that, okay? and that will improve with time as well, just like everything else. And now we're gonna do the second side. You're just gonna bring the left foot forward into a lunge, back foot, back leg parallel with the mat, front foot in front of the knee, square the hips, meaning bring the right hip forward and the left hip back, tuck the tail, bend the front knee deeply. Okay, we're going to raise the arms up and then bring the right hand down. All right, now from this position, kick the foot up toward your butt. Grab whatever you can, use your strap if you can. And also, remember, if you're grabbing this side, which most people do, turn it around and grab the pinky side, okay? And that will open up your shoulder and chest because it externally rotates it. And now instead of just pulling in, kick the foot away into the hand for five, four, three, two, one. And now use your biceps to pull the foot in and bring the front of the right hip forward and down. And now the final thing is I'm gonna look back at my foot and I'm gonna twist my foot away. So I'm twisting it away from the camera this time. And trying to bring the front of the right hip forward and down and then using my biceps to pull in. Okay, breathing deep. And now you're gonna let the foot go 
but keep the foot up for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower it slowly. And that is the end of this video. Your hip flexors here, the quads and deep hip flexors should be feeling a lot more open and loose. And I hope that helps. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please leave a comment below with what your experience was like. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'd love to hear them, you know? So thanks for watching and I hope you followed along with me. And that's about it. I'll see you soon.